Okay guys, so I've been asked to make a little tutorial video uh, just to explain a little bit about what I do to make my faces. Now I've got a little example here made by somebody else. Now I'll just open it up in Photoshop so you can see. So it's Thorgan Hazard of Chelsea now. Um, now you can see this side, this left hand side of the face here is actually pretty good. Uh, but the right hand side looks a little bit worse. So what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to clean this up a little bit first. So what you need to do is you need to use the clone stamp tool which is this thing here. You want to click on that and what you want to do is you want to right click on the screen and you want to pick one of these little fuzzy brushes here. Go for the biggest size because you can downsize in a little while. Uh, the next thing I would do would be go to the opacity and put it at 50%. You want to do that so it you can just get enough detail coming through but it doesn't take over the whole thing so you can still make it look fairly nice and neat so let's just zoom in here what we're going to do here you can see on this side of the face here we've got a few lines here that we can get rid of now you can use the helium brush tool for this but I prefer the clone stamping tool first I'll explain that in a little while you want to press the alt key so you get this little this little thing come up here and that basically selects an area you want to copy so then you just click let go and then you'll be able to copy that section across now with the clone stamp tool you've got to be careful because when you move a when you move your mouse basically it will copy from that point you've selected to wherever you move so if you move from down here if you move this direction so far you will end up pasting across the eyebrows and the eyes so you have to be really careful about how much you're moving so what you want to do is you want to just get a little bit across the area that you've got you want to click and just drag a little bit and you can see that's faded a little while so what you're going to do is you're going to keep doing that basically just this little area just to get rid of those lines and make it nice and smooth okay so then what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing but further down Okay, you're going to take a di you're going to press alt again, select a different area. A nice clear area so you don't get no spots or anything like that. A nice clear textured area. And you're going to do the exact same thing again over any part of the face. Now making sure that when you move, you take a new sample always or she will end up just it will look a mess. Okay, so you want to do that first. Now you can see we've cleared this side up pretty well, but it was already okay. Let's just take a few more samples and just smooth it out a little bit more. Now don't worry about things like this that show up that look really bad because we will get rid of those in a little while. Let's just go. You see it's a lot smoother at the moment. So what we're going to do now on this left hand side only is we're going to take the helium brush tool which is this one here or J on the keyboard. Uh, let's just enhance this a little while, this little bit. Okay right click yet again check the hardness up here make sure it's at uh, I use 30% normally it's entirely up to you but you don't want to be too hard or she will end up with uh, thick lines on the out on the outskirts and that doesn't look very good so let's just minimize that down again so same again alt key make a selection now this time the difference is with this whatever selection you make is what you will copy okay so it won't transfer across and these is just basically just to touch up the areas that you're not quite happy with uh, yet again you have to be a little careful with this just in case you say if you selected from here you will actually select the grep the line down the side so you have to be really careful not just to be you know just to make sure you're selecting the right areas now you see this this bit here that we did earlier that looks rather bad let me just zoom in a little bit what you want to do is find a, a nice smooth area so they've got this area this area here we can use this so yet again up here alt key click and you've made your selection what we're going to do here is we're going to swipe down just to blend these parts together nice and nice and simple of all the bits that you look and it will if you look with this tool it will actually blend in nice if not just click over it and we'll start again just keep clicking 
take the hardness down a little bit because we've got an outline. Take it down to zero. And just get rid of this this outer edge here that you can see. See there, look, you've got the little line. That was because I went to the edge. So let me just alt click somewhere and clean and get rid. Okay. And that is a basic, very, very basic tutorial on how to clean up scans in Photoshop. Okay.